Welcome back everyone to another video here on 111 Leg Reviews 111 where we're taking a look at the 2015 version of the minifigure cube sold by Target and I'm going to be taking a primarily um, focus on the Lightning Lad minifigure because it's DC and I love DC. Uh, don't love the choice of the minifigure. But first, you guys are probably wondering where I've been. Uh, wow. Well, uh, I've been... I don't like the stereotypical excuses, but I'm going to go ahead and give them anyways. I've been pretty much a lot of focus. I work a full-time job, uh, which, you know, takes a lot of my time. You know, it's about 40 plus hours a week. Um, and then plus I'm going to school full-time. Um, so that it takes up a lot of my time. Plus another excuse is I don't, I haven't had a lot of stuff to do a video on. Um, so that is, I think that's a good excuse, you know, it doesn't get much better than that, right? I'm, I'm pretty good at making excuses. It's, a uh, it's a curse, maybe? I, I'd say it as a blessing. <laughs> Anyways, so, let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to take a look at all four minifigures, because last year, some people didn't like that. I didn't look at all of them. But, uh, there's Lightning Lad, but here is, we're going to move him out of the way. Um, here's the cube itself. So, um, of course, we have the Ninjago character, the Lego City character, and the Lego Chima character. Um, so, that is pretty cool. It's a nice cube just like last year. So if you guys want to see my last year review, that will be in the end card, and then also you can check it out on my channel. So um, let's go ahead and take a close-up of each figure, starting with Lightning Lad. All right, so here's a little close-up of Lightning Lad. A few things that actually surprised me. First of all, we've seen this, I saw this minifigure like a long time ago, so nothing was a big surprise. I was like, okay, I'm just ready to get this minifigure reviewed. Uh, I've seen images, leaked images of this like months, months ago. But there's a few things that are on here that surprise me. So if you guys don't know who Lightning Lad is, he is a member of the Legion of Superheroes, which is a futuristic Justice League uh, that composes of like uh, Saturn Girl, I believe, and Cosmic Boy, which is going to be a polybag, actually, surprising enough. So someone in the LEGO group is a fan of the Legion of Superheroes, and they're cool, but, um, you know, not... Not really. Lego's doing a good job at making exclusive DC figures that no one wants. I, you have Trickster, which is cool. Um, Batzaro was some other ones. Um, I can't really think of a lot. But you get my point. Uh, Lightning Lad being one of them. But he's cool. He has like a little arm tattoo on the arm printing there. So that's nice. He has wraparound leg printing. I got a nice printed one. My quality on mine is pretty cool. I love the eyes. I have to give them that. The feature and the expression on the eyes is pretty cool. Um, so that's something I did not know about because I've only saw the front of the head. So he has a really nice torso there with his little logo on it. And just pretty cool. I think it's cool that they're diving rich into the DC history. Um, just stuff that people don't really know about and, um, you know, pretty cool. Um, just showing off the regular head there and to tell you guys how I got this minifigure I had to buy mine on eBay because I bought mine off of target.com and They sent me a Lego City swamp thing It's right here Look Look at this look target. Is that the minifigure cube? No, Okay, I was on customer service for them for like two hours and they couldn't, they're like, oh, you can send this back. I'm not sending this back. Rant over. But as you can see, my frustration is real. And so, yeah, this is kind of awkward. Let's get on to the next minifigure, I suppose. And to briefly take a look at some of the other minifigures that you get, the other three, we have Kai from Ninjago. And he has a pretty cool hair piece. It's a rubber. Um, so not like the normal um, plastic that they use. It's a rubber piece, but very cool. Um, he's just, but this is just a cool little variant. Not like the one that comes in Lego Dimensions is the only other one I have. But uh, still pretty cool. So that's Kai. And then so here we have a character from Chima, which I'm not familiar with whatsoever, but pretty cool. He has, <laughs> it looks some sort of like saber tooth lion kind of thing. Um, the only thing is that these minifigure cubes just destroy the capes. I mean, this cape is just gone. It's ruined. It's folded. It's messed up. Um, but he has pretty cool printing. No wraparound. Oh, yeah, no wraparound printing on him, but that's how these roll. So you can obviously take the helmet off and expose the head. Take that off. So he has kind of a head there, so very cool. Um, 
not very much to him. I don't know who the character is, so I don't really appreciate it that much, but I'm sure someone out there does, and that's why I showed him. And so the last minifigure here is a Lego City Diver. Um, I actually kind of like this. He has the sleeve, so it's the blue on the yellow. So not really useful if you want to use him for a flesh minifigure, but still cool that they do that. Um, something to point out is the blue printing onto the black legs. I think that they did a good job on that. I mean, look at that. That's pretty stunning for what they can do. And then he also has little... His little goggles that raise up on the helmet, um, pretty cool minifigure, um, not much to him, but I guess cool to have in your little exclusive collection. Well that is it everyone for this video here on 11 Leg Reason 11. If you enjoyed, hit that like button because it is much appreciated, and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date whenever I get around to uploading videos, which is like once every four weeks, just kidding. I'm trying to stay more consistent, I have a slate of videos coming up. Um, so look, take a look out for that. Just a couple of minifigure reviews I have to do. Like if you see the Batman Beyond in the background, I still need to review that from Christo. Um, the new Lego Avengers Hulk is coming out soon. It should be a promotion for Toys R Us, which I gotta look into, which is coming out also, which I wanna do. Um, and then uh, there's a couple more videos I have slated, and hopefully we have the Dawn of Justice stuff coming out pretty soon. Um, so I hope you guys all enjoyed in this video. As I said, if I'm tongue-tied here, and um, make sure to check out some more of my videos right now.